So anyways, what I did was I did some tuning with, this is the Rayburn Cyber Tuner on a pocket PC. And it goes from, let's say this is D sharp five, you want to tune it. This is what I use to do most of the tuning on this piano, although I did it by ear. This piano was a real challenge because it's so odd. I really um, I got over my head doing this project because I'm not a very good tuner. <laughs> <laughs> but it was really neat to be able to live somewhere with this kind of piano here. I'm doing this while I've got a marathon on Saturday of dirty jobs that's going on, and I feel like, oh, gosh, cobweb. Uh, I feel like I'm doing a dirty job. Oh, do I dare to open up the knee board? Find out what's going on under there. I have never seen under here. And you know what? There's very little rodent um, presence. Uh, this piano was probably finished in about 1890. It says 1893 is the last date that's on there, September 5th, in fact. And let me see if I could show you guys all the underneath here. And here's the mechanism. Oh. Uh, so here's the pedal that doesn't work, and I can see where it's kind of been broken, but that's okay. And uh, here is the fun pedal here. Wow, that is such a cool feature. So anyways, I figured out what was buzzing. What was going on before was this mechanism here was just simply sitting above, well, it was sitting back of where this arm comes down and, and these little pins here were buzzing on the strings. hear a little bit about and it was sort of intermittent of how it was working so that was an easy fix right there that was kind of a no-brainer but I've got to every once in a while put it back because it does get stuck sometimes and I got to make sure oh my gosh this one here uh, needs to be tight there's just a lot of things that could be done on this here I hardly tuned oh yeah one thing about this piano is everything is tuned 100 cents flat. So that means I'm playing a C. It's actually a B. Da is a B. So it's like playing a B flat trumpet. You play a C, it sounds like a B flat. This is the same thing. So it's not concert pitch. So if I play with a guitar player, they gotta tune everything down a half step if they're watching my fingers, or one of us needs to transpose or something. Or maybe I need to use a capo. So when somebody invents a piano capo, that would be great because pianos would be great if they could transpose. That's why we need Suzuki. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. And in case you're wondering what this is here this is a tennis elbow strap and uh, it just simply goes on this part of the elbow so it doesn't um, swell I came down with uh, this lateral epicondylitis about seven eight years ago or so when I was working as a band teacher and I'm playing the piano like rah, rah, rah. And I didn't warm up, and I just would run in from the Alaskan cold air and go pound on the piano to try to uh, compete with the trumpets and other things. <laughs> so, anyways, practice, warm up, and don't follow my examples. But if you happen to get a really cool piano, take good care of it. And if, if you know anything about this, piano tuners and technicians out there that actually do this stuff for a living please let me know and if you have any advice about what to do with this and uh, maybe I could tell my landlord it might be worth something someday that would be really nice so thanks and god bless and happy playing and tuning